Now, one of the things that we're seeing now, because of the pervasiveness and the openness of art, and because there are so many content developers around the world who are now focused on this mobile computing revolution, the energy around the ARM architecture is absolutely enormous. The fact of the matter is, if you're a software developer and you're not working on ARM, you've got your head in the sand somewhere. And I think that that's to be a fair statement today. And the reason for that is because software developers want to go towards the fastest growing and the largest markets. Install base matters, TAM matters to them. And so it stands to reason that the ARM processor is becoming more and more important. If you take a look at the annual shipments of the projected annual shipments of ARM versus the x86, the two what we consider to be industry standard processors in the world today. Over the next five years, over the next several years, even less than five years, there will be more ARM processors shipped than all of x86, x86 processors ever shipped. There is no question now that in just two or three years' time, in just two or three years' time, and that's the reason why I say large companies simply didn't see this coming. In just two or three years' time, overnight, practically, in technology time, it became evident that the ARM processor is now the world's most important ISO and the, the new open and the new standard microprocessor architecture. And that leads me to um, my next announcement. Now, of course, this particular architecture, this particular architecture uh, has the world's most exciting operating systems supporting it already, iOS and RIM and Android. The only thing that's really holding it back is what about Windows? Now, I'm not here to announce Windows. However, I found this on the web. <laughs> I found this on the web, so, you know, it's all fair game. Uh, and it said, Microsoft said to be unveiling Windows for ARM chefs, and, and I need to wrap this up so we can go find out. They're right, right uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, shortly due to go, go to a Microsoft um, uh, press conference, and, and I wonder if they're going to be talking about something like this, which, which brings me to my, my next announcement. And this is one of the most strategic announcements one of the most important announcements that we have ever made at NVIDIA. We've been working for some time on a processor, and the processor is called Project Denver. The rumors of Project Denver in our industry has been swirling for some time. Are they building a new GPU? Are they building an x86 processor? Are they building, I don't know, a spaceship? <laughs> Nvidia, NVIDIA's projects are always highly scrutinized uh, because everyone wants to, wants to know what we're building next. Um, while we're building, as it turns out, a full custom processor designed in NVIDIA, a partnership with ARM that is based on ARM. This is NVIDIA's first CPU development with veterans from all over the industry who have built x86s and Sparks and MIPS and RPCs. And this great team has come together to build the world's first ARM processor that is targeted at high performance computing. Whereas ARM is going to continue to and will continue to <coughs> license ARM processors that are for mobile computing, what we wanted to do was to expand the reach of this architecture. We felt that with all of the momentum and all the energy around ARM from developers, the one thing they wish they had is if they could leverage that development environment and that resource and that investment to beyond mobile computing, to servers, to PCs, to supercomputers, to cloud computing. Wouldn't that be fabulous? The same tools, the same software development environment, the same engineers, the same compilers. Wouldn't that be fabulous? And so we decided to partner with ARM to build that world's first. I think that this is a game changer. This is certainly a game changer for us. And now with Apple, 
Google, and rumors of Microsoft supporting the ARM processor, which makes perfect sense. I mean, if you were an operating system company, why wouldn't you support the world's largest install base of processors? Why isn't that the most important thing to do? So it stands to reason that all of these operating systems would be supporting ARM. What we want to do is apply our DNA and our expertise and our R&D capability to expand the reach of ARM beyond mobile into every range of computing, from supercomputers all the way down to super phones. And so that's 